90% of the time we run the OEM filter and I'm gonna show you why I typically choose a Motocraft filter over any other filter when I'm doing a service on a Ford product. Now this is gonna apply for a bunch of different vehicles, but I just wanna show you how I go through the process of determining what filters I wanna run in vehicles. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start with a multi-pack from CarQuest. Now a multi-pack from CarQuest is not always the same as a regular store brand. I actually used to think that if it just was a multi-pack, it was cheaper because of the branding, the printing, the labeling, and the volume. That's not actually the case. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and just put this box to the side. Now on first impressions, it looks just like a normal filter, bypass valves at the bottom, and you know there's a little bit of gluing up here, but looks pretty much okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut the sucker open so you can see the difference between the CarQuest Red and the CarQuest Blue. Now, these filters uh, typically have a service life of around 5,000 miles, and they say that they can go up to 7,500 miles as well, but it really depends on the type of oil that you use and the condition by which your vehicle is running. So if you have an empty vehicle and you're not running it really hard and it's mainly highway miles, you can extend that service interval. But if you're driving a vehicle and it's heavily loaded and you're in the city, you're gonna have a greatly compressed oil interval change. You also wanna check how many hours you're living in your vehicle as well. So I'm gonna go ahead, take this guy off and show you what we have. There we go. Now the top of your filter here uh, has your sealing ring. This is what seals on the block or the oil uh, adapter. And you see the threads here, that's what comes up out. Um, that's actually what's sticking out of the block. Now you have your intake for your oil and your clean oil comes through uh, the center of it here. Now, if I show you the gluing of this CarQuest Red, you're gonna see here that the gluing is pretty abysmal and the drain back valve is uh, this little black piece right here. And how that works is when you have oil pressure coming in, it's actually going through the small orifice tubes here goes on top of the drain back valve, down the sides, and through the filter material. Now, if you have too much pressure, it'll actually end up going through this uh, bypass valve. And this bypass valve typically opens between 40 and 60 PSI. It's designed that if the engine is really cold and the oil is really thick, it can allow it to flow through. Uh, the other thing that it's designed to do is that if your filter is super clogged, it's going to allow oil to go through so you don't start your motor. Now, I'm not a fan when they're at the bottom because they're going to suck up all the material that stays at the bottom of your actual filter. But um, what's great about this one is that they do have a small screen here as well as a retainer. So it does stop the larger materials. But if any material is large enough to fit through there anyway, it's going to wreak havoc. So. This filter, you can see that the pleating is pretty awfully set up and it's not actually centered within its canister. It's kind of offset. So this is your bottom of the barrel, your cheap, cheap filter uh, that does have a bypass valve and the cheaper ones don't have a bypass valve. So they get one little credit there for having a bypass valve. Now this would be your CarQuest Blue. Now CarQuest Blues are sold as a premium filter. So you're gonna see pretty significant difference between the red multi-pack and the blue uh, filter. If I can't get an OEM filter, I will sometimes run one of these. It's not my favorite thing in the world to do, but I will do it if I am in a pinch. But I do think that they are a decent filter. I'm not gonna hate on them. Now the newer ones are apparently made by Purelator and um, they do a pretty good job at making some filters, but the manufacturers do change, which is why we actually will open up and cut into a bunch of these because we wanna know what filter and what manufacturer changes are happening because we work with commercial fleets and I wanna make sure that we have really long service lives with our customers' vehicles. Otherwise, what's gonna happen is they're gonna be spending a bunch more money than they should on repairs because the maintenance didn't go as planned. So we, we do a really thorough inspection of the fluids that we install, we do fluid testing, all that jazz. So the first thing you'll notice is that there is a plastic cover on this. That's to stop any debris from going in. It also helps a little bit with um, sort of moisture control. You'll still have the coat can effect, but it will be lessened by this. Now, if you look at the top, you notice how there is no bad gluing, right? This top is shiny and polished, and the drain back valve is uh, a little extra colorful. Now, if we look at the pleating here, you can see here that this pleating is a ton more uniform 
And when they crimp the pleating of the filter together, they use a metal crimp. It's not just glued together. So this is a pretty quality filter. And the drain back valve here is at the bottom and the inside construction is in pretty good shape. So this would be a major step up from your red, as you guys can see here, just looking at the two differences. If you hold them up, you can see major differences in the pleating, major differences in the gluing. The CarQuest Blue is a quality filter, in fact. And we've taken apart hundreds of these before just to inspect them. And we also look at what's going on. Now, the reason that I don't like the drain back valve at the bottom, I'm gonna show you here on the newer Ford product, is that whenever you have a bunch of material get caught up in the oil and the filter, it sinks down to the bottom of this case here. And whenever you have one of those cold days or a hard start, or you start it and the oil is really thick and it goes above 40 to 60 PSI, you're gonna have this drain back valve open and then all the sediment and material that's collecting at the bottom is gonna get shoved through into the engine and bypass all of the filter material. So that's one of the reasons why I'm not a big fan of that. Uh, the difference between, the other difference between the red and the blue you're gonna see here is just the retainer spring. Now, some retainer springs actually will incorporate the bypass valve in the bottom, not a fan of that. Um, but you can see here that this is just to keep the filter centered in the assembly process and keep everything together. It also helps make sure that this uh, drain back valve is pressed up against the top of the case. So it doesn't matter to me so much whether or not it has a spring or whether or not it just has that small metal crimped piece. They both do a very similar job. But you can easily see the difference in the quality between the CarQuest Red and the CarQuest Blue. So we don't run any CarQuest Reds on any of the vehicles that we service uh, ever. Now, here is the F. L820S from Ford. This is the Motorcraft one, and I believe that these are made by Man Hummel. Now, what's awesome about this filter is that the bypass valve is actually located on the top of the filter, and that is the way that I like for every single filter to be. The reason that is, is what we talked about earlier, the complaint was that with the blue and the red, even though they do have a bypass valve, which is really good, if I said bypass filter this video, I meant to say bypass valve the entire time. But even though they do have a bypass valve, the bypass valve is at the bottom. And I don't like that because then the sediment gets sucked up in there. So with the bypass valve at the top, you get to uh, have the benefit of not having the uh, sediment from the bottom of the filter get caught up. So you can see here, that this filter doesn't have a spring, it just has one of those stamped pieces that keeps it propped up. The bypass is not at the bottom. The bypass is at the top. Now I'm definitely not a fan of this gluing and I'm definitely not a fan of this pleating. This pleating is absolutely abysmal, but I am a fan of the fact that they put the bypass valve at the top, meaning that if there was a issue, the oil would flow through these small holes, go in and then lift this bypass valve up and then come right on out. But this pleating is absolutely abysmal. So in this situation, if we had the choice between running the FL A20S versus the equivalent in the premium blue from CarQuest, we're probably gonna be running the CarQuest premium blue. Because if you look at the pleating material here, the pleating material is just in such a better condition. There's so much more of it in the filter material and the filter media, it's gonna give you a better overall result. You can actually see here too, that there is more filter material between the top and the bottom, as well as the uniformity. So for my personal opinion, if I was gonna run an oil filter and they were dollar for dollar the same, I would actually switch with the CarQuest Blue on this because it's not very likely that the vehicle is gonna have an extended service interval with Revit, and we're not gonna have an issue where the bypass valve is gonna be opening because the filter's not gonna get clogged. Now we are also super specific about which oils we use in the vehicles. So you're not gonna have that crazy big oil spike with the oils that we use in the wintertime because if we are running a diesel and it's gonna be blisteringly cold out, we know that we're gonna be running a 5W40 instead of a 1540. And some people might think that's a waste of money or that's crazy, but that's just what we do. And our service life out of all of our clients' vehicles is fantastic. So it's a little bit more expensive for us to service the vehicles that way, but in the long run, it works out. We'll also do an oil analysis to make sure that we are doing our oil change intervals at the correct frequency because we don't want to have a situation um, that goes sideways where we have an extended oil change interval and there's some failure that happens afterwards. 
So the main construction for your filter, just to go over your seal and O-ring, these are the threads that thread into the block, into the oil filter adapter. You have the top and the bottom of your oil filter. This filter has a bypass valve on the top. This filter here has a bypass valve on the bottom. Now, if I could get the combination of these two filters where I had fantastic top with no yucky glue just everywhere. I mean, if you just look at this gluing, this is something that's absolutely gross, right? I can actually just peel some of this gluing off. Nasty, right? And what's that gonna do? It's going to get lodged inside the filter or it's gonna make its way through that upper bypass valve just because it is on the top of the filter, right? So in this case, I'm gonna give hands down, CarQuest Premium Blue wins the FLA20S over the factory one, right? So that's just a quick little video, guys, for you to see how we decide which filters we're gonna be running on your service vehicles and on your fleet, because we actually will open them up. We've opened over a hundred of them and taken a bunch of notes and seen all the differences between the filters and what's going to work for your application. So in this case, we're actually gonna be switching with the CarQuest Premium Blue instead of the factory FLA20S, because we know that we're gonna be servicing these vehicles, because how we actually work together with our customers is we install a GPS device that we designed. And while that GPS device is on the vehicle, it's tracking the engine hours and the miles. So we know how many hours and how many miles the truck is running. It automatically sends us off a notification and we send our guys out to go do the service. So we know that we don't have to worry about a filter getting clogged, which is what that bypass valve is really good for. And if the weather is too cold and we know they're gonna be in a really cold climate, when we do that oil change interval, we actually will use a uh, winter weighted oil that uh, is thinner at freezing. So it allows for better flow. I'm Blair with Revit Auto. Thanks so much for watching this video. And as always, happy motoring.